Matt here, and I wanted to go over how to set up a Bing API ID. So if you want to use Bing and you click it, it tells you that you need to set up a Bing API ID, and you do that up here in the options, and you just go to Bing API IDs, and then here it has the link for us, make it easy, um, so we can jump over, and you'll see this page, and we're just going to sign up to use a Bing search API ID. And then um, we'll just walk through here how to sign up. Now I have a random email address set up. Um, it's actually random at scrapestuff.com. And we're going to go through and use that particular ID to set everything up here. And so uh, we need a Windows Live ID to get this done. So I'm going to sign up. And then punch in my email address here. And let me just fill this out here while I pause the video. Now I went ahead and punched in the real email address that I did have set up and then just made up a password and um, I punched in random information, Carmen Smith and made up a random zip code in the US. Um, that's probably a female name so let's change it to female. Made up a random birth date and then just punched in the capture here and we don't really want junk so accept and let's let that work here. And then we're going to send an email. And now that I can verify, let's go back over here and check for the mail. And there we've got email. And verify the account. Okay. Let that load here. And then what I'm going to do here is just add an application. And I'm just going to make up some more stuff here. So let me pause the video. Okay, so I just made up totally random, pointless information. My website set up, uh, setting up search being via onboard search form. Don't use this exact wording, but you get the concept. Just put something in there, anything. Um, punched in my real email address again and randomly made up a website name and a website and then agreed to the terms and I unchecked that I don't want a bunch of junk mail from them. And then it will load up here and we'll get our being API ID. And I actually had to reload the page here, uh, but then it comes up with um, application name, website, status enabled, and um, I clicked on enabled. And um, this right here is our Bing API ID. You click on it and it'll give it to you. I'm just going to copy it here. Go back over here, paste it in. Now when I click Bing, away we go. And voila, we're harvesting from Bing. And setting up a Bing API ID is that simple.